Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program with me Nihai Hobo and we are now on um, 1.8.4 so happy days we finally made it um, now I did manage to get my hands on a copy of uh, 1.8 point uh, sorry 0 0.18 point two that was it and uh, so I had a bit of time playing with it and, and stuff. As I understand, point 0.4 is a bug fix uh, version. I didn't really spot too many bugs in the first one outside of what I'd sort of normally expect of a, um, an alpha game or beta game like this. Um, so I don't know what they fixed. Uh, but moreover, the reason I'm telling you that is because I did have quite a lot of time practicing docking and making space stations. And hold on to your socks one second. I'm actually not very good at it. Mind-blowing information. Um, so I have made the executive decision that we are going to be using mechanical jab to try and improve our chances because we could spend a long time watching me bump into a lot of things in silence and breathing. And I think Mech Jab is going to uh, help us get out of what could otherwise be a bit of a rut and also save us having to do uh, post commentary. Uh, I don't, I just, I. Scott Manley does post commentary so well. I just feel that. I, I wouldn't be able to offer anything uh, more than what he can he can already give you. So if you want post commentary, he's most definitely your man. Um, if you want her derpy crashing into stuff, you are most definitely in the right place. Hello and welcome if it's your first time. Um, no announcements of names today because um, I did that in TechIt. Uh, so without further ado, this is a clean install. I've, as I say, I've not played this yet. I deleted the old ones to get this one going. Um, so they, uh, there are incompatible in both files. Would you like to delete them? Yes. Uh, we'll delete them. We'll start again. Oh, okay. So we're we'll starting new and we're going to call this, um, fingers crossed. Oops. Oh, actually, no. In, um, in celebration of the, uh, previous series, we're going to call it, um, should be uh, space. Sorry, I'm having to type slightly off to my left because of the way that the mic and uh, the two screens are working. Um, can, um, Amy or Amy? Can, well, we're going with E M Y. I'll put a capital on that one. And go ahead and start. You can uh, go right ahead, bang in the comments that I, I spelt that wrong, uh, if I have done indeed. So, what are we going to be doing? Uh, I think, first job, let's build a satellite. Um, just because I've never used McJab before, either. And yes, um, it's not going to be MechJab, it's going to be MuckJab. Um, Again, professors of linguistics uh, can go ahead and correct me on this, but as I believe, oops, um, the Mac, which you are uh, spelled M-A-C, and you'll be familiar with from names like McDonald, uh, hails more from Scotland, um, whereas the Muck, which is the M-C-C spelling, is more of an Irish descendancy. I think that's right, despite the fact that um, a lot of Irish names come from Scottish clans. Um... I, that's how I that's how I understand it, um, but I, I could be wrong again. Uh, genuinely, I, I'm always interested in um, origins of names and words and stuff. So if I if I'm wrong with that, please do correct me. Um, comment section at the bottom below. Nobody else is using it, so you go ahead and, and pop on what you want on there. Um, so we're gonna start the um, this crew capsule with that stack decoupler. We're gonna go ahead and put an advanced SAS on there. Um, this shall be the return journey. Uh, oh, that's the massive one. It's been a while. That's um, space crafty ones. Uh, is that just a regular fuel? Ah, it is a regular fuel, fuel tank. Okay, so yeah, we, uh, as I said in the tech episode yesterday or earlier on today, I've not decided how I'm going to upload those yet. Um, I have got some big news and um, I will be getting to that, but I will be doing that um, after 
we are, whilst we're in space or whilst we're launching, uh, whilst I've got nothing better to talk about, uh, for the time being, um, oh, right, yeah, that's a good point. So, um, I've gone ahead and just launched into this. So what uh, his control would be? Mukjab, we'd need him somewhere. Well, we're going to want some RCS ports anyway. Um, so we'll just we'll pop those at the back. Um, I've actually been told that it's actually a good idea not to um, add too many of those because it can control your ship too much. So the smaller the ship, the less you want to have. Um, so there's a bit of Mukjab. Um, and as a result, by by calling him Mukjab, uh, it means oh there we go. There's a uh, pod version fuel tank. Use at your own risk. By calling him Mukjab, it almost makes him feel a little bit more like an actual part of the crew. Um, so uh, yeah, that's the other reason we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm I'm looking for I'm looking for uh, uh, RCS fuel. That's what I'm after. That that's well no not that. That, that's, that's, come on, uh, that's the one, there we go, awesome sauce. Okay, uh, so, what does this do then? McJab pod version. Multiverse, nothing was really known, that's, that, that's helpful. Um, um, but I don't, so what do I do with these then? You you strap to something? Do I duplicate you? Oh, so no, we can't we can't dupe you. Do we just attach you? Is that what we do? I don't understand. In the meantime, because I need this to decouple. I don't know. You seem to. You seem to have a lot of points that we can connect to you on. Um, I mean, because I would have thought landing support, mechanical job, oh, it's SAS, advanced SAS. Um, I, so I guess we do have to put a uh, a module pod version decoupler. I would have thought it would have, there would have been an actual pod, surely. Or does it come inherently? Well, that's a good point. We want a battery and some electricery as well, don't we? Um, this is getting very heavy very quickly. Chargeable battery. And uh, with a way to recharge it, so we'll just pop some. Uh, I suppose actually, once we can pop them there, because the last thing we want, that's some lights as well. Do that, and we're going to want uh, parachutes. That's it. Radial mounted parachutes. I've two of those. Just uh, to, a, a bit excessive for what we're going to want, but we're going to want to keep this clear because we're going to want to put something on the top of that, um, i.e., the satellite. That would be the the one. We don't want necessarily want any scientific stuff yet. We might add some to the to the satellite for. Um, aesthetics. Well, I guess we just need to take a bit of a punt, really. Um, Crossfeed capable, mass temperature, um, impact tolerance. So you don't really give any. I would have thought. Pod version engine. What, what do you. Do you fit inside? Oh. Okay, that's weird. Um. That's you very, very bizarre. Um <laughs> I could almost hear you shouting at the screen, I just can't make out what you're saying. Um 
regular SAS, Jeb Pod version, decoupler. Okay, um, I'm going to take a punt then. Um, I'm going to stick this under here. Um, and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Um, <laughs> sucks to be me. Uh, and we're going to stick that there before I forget about it. And then what I'm going to do now is going to build up the rest of the rocket. Now that looks redonkulous. Stuck to couple That looks better. Um, let's come away and let's give this some height. And um, we'll put that one. I'm gonna get one of the um, uh, one of these, and um, okay. Let's see if we can get this up on uh, a single one of these. Oh. Uh, it's been a while since I've played, you can you can tell. There we go. And we'll dupe that out. Then we need uh, get some decouplers. And we will go with what we know and love. And we'll do the asparagus. If it will let us. Why? What are you doing? What are you fl flipping out over? Okay, maybe these decouplers aren't the way to go then. Go with these. That's better. And then we will add... Uh, let's put some... of those on there. And I want to add some parachutes because I like the idea I've been watching a bit of Scott Manley's stuff again I start to sound a bit fanboy really aren't I um, that's, that's the S modules and I like the idea of the reusable um, in fact actually that'll just tear that clean off wouldn't it I like the idea of the reusable um, planes that he's doing uh, uh, crafts that he's doing so in the sort of spirit of that I'm going to add that and a. Ooh, not that many. Maybe. Oops. Two, again, just for the sake of symmetry more than anything else. And uh, we'll strengthen that up a little bit as well. With some. Uh, where are you? Um. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, I love you. There we go, that was better. And there we go. Okay, so that's that sorted. Now, for those of you joining us for the first time um, and wondering what the hell we mean by the asparagus system, this is a system which peels away um, one layer of tanks at a time so um first of all right i'll explain it bit by bit by bit uh, for those of you who do know what this is and you you'll know how long this takes to do so um you can jump ahead until we're ready to launch uh but what we're doing no There it is. What we're doing is we're adding fuel lines to each part of to each of the tanks, um, so that all of the tanks will take out of all of the engines will take out of one tank, and then they'll deplete and go, and then they'll start on the next one. So basically, once you've burnt through all of the six outer tanks you will still have a full center tank so it means that your first lot of tanks goes missing very very quickly indeed but after that 
you are quite considerably higher and also have some fuel uh, have a full center tank uh, with with a minimum amount of m with a, a smaller amount of mass as I say it's a bugger to set up and uh, these tanks don't make it too easy in fact actually I think I've used the wrong decoupler because um, it's going to make it quite tricky to do the next bit as well so you wire them up so that drains into that which drains into that which drains into the center and that which drains into that which drains into that which drains into the center okay so we're going to lose these ones first okay so what we need to do is add stage and we need to get hold of and this is where it's going to become tricky in fact i think what we'll do is we're going to bit more height on the old rocketage so that we can get in underneath it like a lady like a lady skirt okay and you so we're looking down this list for that one so you will go Uh, not at all. Have I done that right? Yep. Okay, so those two go. And at the stage above that, so it's that and that, and this one. And it's opposite. That one. So those two, then those two, then those two. Now we don't want these parachutes firing off um, willy nilly either. So uh, that would be check that in fact let's just double make sure this is where the uh, the name should have comes from for the first for first timers of you so the doors why can't I get underneath this so those two No, it should go that way, shouldn't it? So those two. Then those two. So those two. Then those two. Then those two. Yeah, okay. Ah, right, okay. So, then. That. And. that for the first stage then that and that for the second stage them two for the third stage then that decoupler wants to slide down and those two parachutes will go in there by that point we should be way up in the atmosphere and um, I actually start to reconsider whether or not this is going to be enough but we're going to give it a whack we'll give it a college try and if we need to come back and make some adjustments then that will be in next episode uh, but we are going to finish up what we're doing here. Um, normally you would need separatrons on this. Um, I'm going to I'm going to try I'm going to punt without it um, because time is pressing on. We've not even made our satellite yet, um, so we need we we'll get some control because these talk like an absolute madman. 
Okay, so we're going to give them some control there. And then... Oh, engines. Engines, engines, number nine. All of that wants to come right down at the bottom. Along with, we need to... Oh. That's it. Um. And then we'll drop that back down. So if we hold shift and click this one, that's it. We can do that. Okie doke. Um, and then lastly, we will just strengthen the whole thing up a bit because I feel that this is going to get a bit wobbly once we start putting uh, any more stress and weight on it. Um, Right, so that's that, and then we've got that stacked a couple of there, which should never really uh, have to come into play. Um, we certainly want it up here and out of the way, and nothing else. Um, and then, what we're going to do for our satellite is... Um, uh, we'll have an empty, well, it falls into structural now doesn't it, so have some empty drums with some rechargeable batteries and uh, we can have an SAS module we can have some we'll have a McJab on it we'll have some RCS fuel we'll have one at either end And we need solar panels. Well, not that many, though. Solar panels and solar panels. Yep, that's good. And, and then we'll have some sciencey stuff on it so we'll have the um, communicator the short range communicator the accelerometer the barometer no yeah barometer the gravimax despite the fact we know what it is and the thermometer so it's sort of a a little bit of a sciencey station. Uh, this is going to feed back information about what uh, space is actually like because this is about 19, <clears throat> excuse me, about 19, uh, 1950s uh, in the Kerbal land. Uh, oh, and uh, we don't know what space is actually like. A few pilots have flown right to the edge of it, but uh, nothing too convincing just yet. So this probe is the, the first mission to. Um, to space and as a result it's going to tell us some interesting things well, hopefully it's going to tell us some interesting things uh, which we can later use when we start spend oh I'll tell you what else we need anybody guess what we've forgotten uh, yeah that's right command module for it um, assuming so I'm, I'm say that I, I'm assume I'm, I'm saying that we've missed out a command module because I'm assuming that muck jab isn't going to work so we need 
Uh, you. You will do. Actually, maybe we can make something that looks a little bit more science -y than that. Um. Maybe if we do this. Oops. So should we just dupe this one? How's that? That looks like it might not look too bad once it's up. Uh, so yeah, this is going to tell us some very, very important science stuff. Uh, so that when we actually come to start sending um, long-term missions up uh, into space, we'll have an idea of um, what space has got in store for us and what Im impressive and imaginary well not imaginary but inventive that's the word i was looking for inventive ways it's going to try and kill our kerbal knots uh, that's um the idea i know we're going to be sending a kerbal knot up on on this mission but uh he's one of the ones who has one of the heroes of the kerbal air force um so we're going to call this Free Sat One. Free Sat, of course, the television channel. Other channel, other television channels are available, or service providers certainly. Um, but this is going to free the Kerbals from being bound to the planet that they're already on. So there we go. That's our our sort of structure that we're going to be dealing with there. Um, in fact, that's going to break when we go. What we'll do is we're just going to pull one more, which is going to hold on to. Oh! Uh, yeah, so it's it, it's going to be a hero that we all recognise. Is going to be the the first Kerbal to pilot a a rocket out of Kerbal's. Uh, no, not Kerbal. Kerbin. Sorry. Um, fuck it all. Um, out of Kerbal's atmosphere, uh, uh, Kerbal, uh, Kerbin's atmosphere, and um, deliver a payload into space. And uh, as I say, it's a, uh, a hero that we all hero that we all know and love. Uh, it will be Sir, and uh, yes, that's right. I've given him a knighthood, Sir Jebediah. So there we go. So we're going to save that, and we're going to go for a launch. Um, Episode just pressing on a bit. I, um, funny, funny story. I rendered, I found out how to render the videos in uh, 1080 HD and I started uploading it yesterday. And I got to, uh, let's just, so there's no mechanical jab that's popped up. So maybe I need to go back and watch some videos. Um, and yeah, I didn't do that, did I? So there we go, that's that one. So fingers crossed everybody um mr jebediah we salute you in five four three two one oh whoa, whoa, that's shaky so let's throttle back a bit get it back under control lot of so you see here it's drinking out the fuel in a sort of non-linear pattern and it's also not feeding the center sections that seems odd Things going well so far. Oh, oh, oh! And just as he says that, let's see. Can we can we do it on three engines? Perhaps not. We we are leading a little bit, to say the least. Um. Okay, that's an abort. That is an abort. Oh, and that shouldn't have gone. Uh. We are, we are 
hopelessly out of control. Hopefully our parachute slows us down at a slower rate than this and, and we can get back to the surface. This, this is going to be very expensive. This is a very, very expensive mistake we made here. Let's see if we can just get this under control. If anybody can, it will be Jab. Oh. So we'll get rid of that as well. There we go. So, he might have passed out a little bit. Um, yeah, that that didn't go as well. I think it needs the Separatrons. I think this episode's gone on long enough. As I was saying, that I, I did the 1080, and it, it, it said it was 35,000 minutes to upload a 20-minute video. So, um, we're probably going to have to look into that a little bit more. Um... Uh, that's oh, oh that, that cost a lot of money um, so yeah I think that what we're gonna be doing is uh, probably going ahead and just end this episode here why is his parachute deployed and ours doesn't it still drags shoot stage ah there we go that's uh, that's oh oh that might not be sufficient that might not be a sufficient parachute and we might have to remove that as an idea um Oh god! Oh, right. Uh, okay. We'll we'll get to the floor and we'll see how how that's worked out. But yeah, so um, I, I'm gonna have to look into that one. Theoretically, though, what I was saying yesterday or earlier on today about the uh, the live stream problems that shouldn't be. I, I did a speed check and I'm getting nine kilobytes a second. Uh, sorry, nine megabytes a second. So. Uh, I think they say for a live stream you need about eight, um, but the up speed is redonkulously slow. So I'm going to do some looking into that. But anyway, I shall finish on the big news that I've been promising you. Um, and this is in answer to somebody asked me a question. Uh, I'm sorry, your name slips my mind. Asked me why and who had told me I wasn't allowed to drink Dr. Pepper anymore. Well, it's actually my fiance. Uh, due to some medical documents that say if you are trying to get pregnant that you shouldn't drink Dr. Pepper. Well, um, that's a bit of a giveaway. Oh, look, there's some clipping bits. Uh, but uh, I, well, I, me and my fiancé are pregnant and we're going to be having a baby. We've just gone past the 12-week mark, so... Um, that's why we're going to have a bit of a staggered return to the YouTube channel. She's having some time off uh, off work, um, and it's it's a little bit difficult for me to do recordings whilst she's here. Um, but uh, it's I, I certainly haven't given up on the channel at all. I'll still be doing things with the channel, um, just it's maybe at a slightly different rate uh, work uh, work rate than we're perhaps used to. So um, yeah, that's the other thing. So I managed to before the internet got here, I managed to move house, new job, and get pregnant. Um, all in the space it took for some BT engineer to come and plug a phone line in, and then for um, um, for, for them to switch the broadband on. So let's just quickly go over here and see how much of this survived. Do you want to run? Ah, yeah, I can run. So, yeah, all very, very exciting stuff. I'm, I'm growing up at long last. Um, sort of. <laughs> There's still a question mark hanging over that one. Uh, so, yeah. Big news. Big, big news. So I just want to come over here and find out how much of the satellite survived and what sort of invoice um, uh, the Space Academy is going to receive. I, I imagine it's going to be quite hefty. Um, yeah. I'm only going to be recording one of these today as well because what I want to do is actually do two renders of it. I want to do a full um, 1080 render and a 720. Oh no, stuff's still blowing up. We're walking into a danger zone. Um, a, a, a full 1080 and a 720. And I want to try and upload the 720 here and see how much of a difference that makes. Uh, just trying to do a little bit rather than the whole lot. And if... Because, of, of course, I'll be moving from work soon. I'm not sure what my new work's um, internet connection will be like and even whether or not they'll be uber happy about me doing stuff like that um, on, on company time. Though, you know, 
a line show that all I really do is go to work and just click upload and then I come here and I do things like add the graphics and I do all the rendering and the recording at home and the editing and um, I make the graphics at home and I write all the uh, descriptions at home it's just that I need to upload them there um, because that's the bit that, that takes the longest the other thing as well is that the, the place that I work has fiber optic and I live maybe not 10 miles away and I don't think we do but I don't know whether I could really justify moving up to fiber optic just yet I mean uh, the new job does come with a pay rise but the distance that I travel will pr pretty much negate most of that and also then um, the family will negate the rest of it and I'll be poorer than ever so I'll get spending now Whilst, uh, whilst I still can. But we are very lucky that I have two sisters who've recently had children, so they're giving us a lot of stuff. So, yeah, not a lot really made it, did it? Um, so some of the lights fell off, and the scaffs come away, all of the solar panels, the RCS. I didn't put any RCS thrusters on it, though, did I? So it was never going to work anyway. Uh, oh, there's some, some bits over there which survived. Um, but yeah, that looks like it's going to be quite a substantial bill for Kerbal Space Program. Um, not for the Kerbal Space Program, sorry. For um, for for my um, should-be Space Academy. Um, I think we've started as we mean to go on. I think, uh, again, if this is your first time here, this is a pretty decent flavour of uh what's uh, what's in store over the next few weeks um what i do with these is every time there's a, an update of the point 18 uh the point 18 section then that starts off as a new series um so this is series four i think or is it five I don't know, it's been so long. I need to go back and, and check these things and get my facts straight. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and sign off on that one. I think this episode has gone on long enough and I've rambled enough. I would like to thank you very much for joining me. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. For new subscribers, you do get your name read out on uh, the next video when I have five uh, subscribers to to, um, to talk about. Um, so my name is Nihai Hobo. Uh, this has been an absolute disaster, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.